Hey guys, how's it going? The Master Bucks here, and yeah, pretty much no real intros, just getting right down to it uh, in this episode, episode 7 of course of my career mode series, where of course playing as Newcastle United, and yeah, hopefully going to be able to finish up in the Champions uh, Cup spot, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Obviously, as you can see, we're versing Tottenham, I'm going to be playing about 4 or 5 games uh, in this episode, and just simming the rest of them, because I want to, by the end of it, finish in a position... Uh, <coughs> at some point in the calendar, hopefully around about January for the transfer window. But yeah, obviously as you can see, I'll just commentate on the game now. Honda uh, doing very well to get a three ball to J-Bucks and the shot's just a little bit wide, unfortunate. And yeah, going into half time, it was nil-nil uh, between Tottenham and Newcastle. So hopefully, as we can see, J-Bucks with a sliding tackle, not great, completely Absolutely knocking Modric, got, uh, Modric off his feet. So that's two of my players with yellow cards. Not great. The clearance out of the box failed. Code right went right to Parker with a shot. Decided to swap Gutierrez over for Santiago Munez. And obviously, as you can see, on the ground, hopefully he'll be able to have a bit of an influence late on in the game. Hopefully be able, be able to get the first goal. That would be fantastic. But he's in the box. And he might have a shot. And he's got a goal. He might have a shot. He will have a shot. What else is he going to do? Okay. But he did score the goal. Fantastic. Thank you, Santi Munez. Able to get a little bit of a, um, what am I trying to say? Obviously, thankfully able to make that little bit of a, you know, get a goal, which is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Obviously, uh, Tottenham tried to take off, uh, made a substitution, Parker for Sandro, but that wouldn't do much because once Santi Munez is on the pitch, the floodgates open. He scores goal after goal, and from no goals in the 80th minute to 2 0 in the 87th minute after Santiago Munez was brought into the game. Obviously, that's not how it would end. Van der Vaart with a brilliant ship. That is very nice. I'll say that, even though I'm not really commenting on anyone, just the AI. But apart from that, it was irrelevant because it's still a victory to Newcastle, despite the fact it's only by the one goal. But Santiago Munez getting the two goals when I needed them. And Van der Vaart scoring in the 90th minute. And it looks like Glenn Johnson is back from injury, so he gets back in the team. We got a game against Wigan, simmed it, 1-2-1. And there's going to be a lot of matches I'm just simming straight away, like Stoke. Beat Stoke by two uh, two goals. Everton drew against Everton, 2-2. Two, two. And again, we're, we're finally just going to get a move on. Because uh, I don't know if you saw it, but we've got, in a row, quite a lot of very important games. We've got Manchester City first, Manchester United second, and then Chelsea. All those three in a row. Santiago Munez getting a start for this game against Manchester City after having such a, a great input in that game against uh, Tottenham a while back. Don't remember, don't forget, we sim three games. But anyway, yeah, Chelsea on top of the table. I'm sitting currently at about third. Uh, I keep winning games. I'm going to have a really good chance of maybe getting top of the table. Nazari, just him and the keeper, and Krull doing a great job there. Fantastic stuff. Krull's a good goalkeeper. Maybe he's underrated. But uh, yeah, J-Bucks, a through ball to J-Bucks, unfortunately being cut off by Torre. But J-Bucks still manages to find a way into the box. Tackled again. Still at his feet. Went to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur with, oh, I don't know, 10 feet between him and the goal. Fantastic. Ben Arthur was able to get the goal in the 23rd minute and we're beating Manchester City, but Milner went through, literally walking through a defence in the box and scores the goal. Not too uh, not too long after uh, Ben Arthur's goal and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We went into the half at 1-1, uh, which is okay though. Aguero on the ball, a very poor sliding tackle. Bring out the keeper, keeper saves the ball. Manchester, what am I saying, Newcastle United back in possession. Very good stuff. And then Aguero again. Going to Nazare in a pretty... That's a flying shot from Nazare. I don't know what he was expecting there. Aguero again with a finesse shot which just went wide. Manchester City really pretty much doing the majority of the attack. But J-Bucks with a through ball to Santi Munez behind the line of defence. Has got all the space in the world and he slots it beautifully. I think it actually came off of uh, who? Uh, Michael Richards' leg. Maybe just going into the goal. But it's a goal nonetheless to Munez. And we are back in the game with a 2-2. A great sliding tackle to block Aguero's shot. Cruel on the ball, and then again, it looks like Man City were going to be making a change. De Jong on uh, for Barry, and I decided to make my own, taking Barr and Williamson into the game, and taking off Taylor and J-Bucks, my virtual pro. Hopefully one of them will be able to do something for me, as Honda had a shot, and it's a mouth! Oh! What a saw! That would have been something special from Honda, but as you can see here on the replay, look at this save from Hart. That's, uh, oh, fuck yeah, because that would have been an awesome goal. But anyway, Ben Arthur on the ball with a through ball to buy, and on the volley, he'll have a crack at, oh, save that one, bitch. And Ben Arthur, what am I saying? And Ben Hart couldn't save that, and Barr gets, gets the ball and scores. Very nice volley. Fantastic stuff, and that's the game. Yeah, 1-3, Newcastle United getting the win. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're, we're steamrolling. I'm pretty confident so far... We have gone undefeated so far. We haven't won every game, but we have drawn. We have not lost. And obviously, as you can see, Manchester United, the second of three very big games for Newcastle United. 
and of course we are going to be versing them and hopefully doing relatively well. As you can see, we are just on uh, ahead of Newcastle of Manchester United on the table. Went to Bar, went to Honda. Honda may be offside, but just managing to creep in onside. And Honda scores in the 23rd minute. Fantastic. Rooney, unfortunately, not the same. He missed regardless, but Rooney offside there. Bar on the ball, through ball to Honda. Honda's got an absolute paddock, and he's going to hopefully try to get past the keeper. Oh, with some fancy footwork, but he's taken out by Lingard, and it is a penalty. Fantastic stuff. And anyway, Bar takes the penalty. Bar celebrates. Oh, no, what am I doing? That's going to piss off some people. Anyway, <laughs> and I do it all the time. It's not like I'm doing it unintentionally. It's fucking on purpose. Anyway, going in the half, 2-0, and oh, a volley from, who was that, Nanny? Nice. Uh, unfortunately, not getting the goal there again. Rooney again on the ball, having another shot, but can't score. Bar on the ball. Hopefully going to use his uh, strength or pace. What pace? Anyway, regardless, he shoots, and it's a goal in the 80th minute from a, uh, quite a tight angle, a bit of an angle kick. But still, not bad. That's a 3-0 win. Quite familiar to real life. Only as you can see, Wilbeck. Wilbeck, he's a persistent fucker. He won't stop and he scores a goal on the header on his, what, third try? I don't know. But I've decided to bring Taylor and Munez into the game, substituting with uh, Johnson and who? Gutierrez. And again, Munez on the game. He's going to have a massive input on the ball. He only plays like, I don't know, an eighth of the game, but he still manages to find a goal in the 90th minute. Fantastic stuff from Munez. I've really got to start thinking about a permanent role in the team. But a volley from Welbeck, unfortunate, or from Nanny, whatever. No, it is from Welbeck. But I threw the ball right back to Welbeck. I thought, hey, you know what? That volley would have been awesome anyway. Here's a free goal. It won't matter. But, yeah, regardless, uh, we beat Manchester United by two goals. <coughs> you know what I mean. But, yeah, I got a Manager of the Month award. That's sick. Nice. Not bad. Doesn't really show for anything. Give, just give me more money. No, no reward. Okay, fine. But we're versing Chelsea. At, uh, yeah. So, anyway, we are versing Chelsea. If we win this game, not only are we going to continue to go undefeated, but we have a very good chance, or we will, be on top of the table. Munez, as you can see, maybe if you got a chance, was now starting on. And Munez going through, goes to Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur with a cross because it's too tight. Goes to Sandy Munez, goes to J-Box. Will he head it in? No. The ball's tipped over the bar by fucking check. Oh, it's action pack, man. It really is. But obviously, nothing coming from the corner. Good clearance. Unfortunately, it's a crap attempt at a clearance from Honda. And look at that. Essendon score. Essendon. <laughs> Essien. Whoops. Ess Essien scores. Oh, for all the Aussies out there, like, oh, Essendon. The go D's. Or Don's, whatever. <coughs> you lost to the D's anyway, mate. But obviously, as you can see on the rebound, uh, I've taken my mind off the ball anyway. So Lampard scored after a save from Krull. So Chelsea 2-0 two, uh, two up, and that's not really what I wanted to go top of the table. But hey, this might help. Uh, Terry tackle, not great, and it goes to penalties. And Bucks takes the penalty, and I'm not going to copy what I did before. Uh, Chet goes the right way, can't save it, but it's a 36-minute penalty to J Bucks, and it's now 2-1. So there's still a fighting chance. Still have a really uh, uh, good chance, what I'm trying to say. Slight tackle from Taylor is not amazing. I was expecting already. He ended up uh, getting a yellow. Maybe because he was in front of him. I don't know. But again, a, uh, a cross to, into Lampard. Very lucky not to uh, concede that time. And then he ended up having two shots. Still managing one to save and the second time missing. Quite lucky there. But Chelsea on the ball. Oh, but then a spillage. And then it was lucky. Uh, Newcastle on the ball. And Jay Bucks able to put it in the net. And that's the equaliser in the 69th minute. Ha ha. And yes, that's a goal to Newcastle United. And then a shot from Nunes ended up being another penalty. Brilliant. Excellent. Yes. So that's a penalty. Uh, Chelsea ended up making a substitution, what I'm trying to say, Mikel, to, uh, on for Lampard. And Joe Bucks had a shot. Finesse in the, onto the right side. Maybe I'm not in the right-hand corner, that I was going to say. But it's a penalty regardless. And it's 3-2 from two down to winning by a goal. Good stuff corner, maybe we'll put this in, no it's punched away by Czech, but all we had to do was keep possession, defend, Fernando Torres on the ball, going to Raul Morales cut out, no, going in and the head is saved by Cruel, very lucky but again we see Torres on the ball, they're persistent, he went to Sturridge, maybe offside, I don't know, but in the end it's a sweaty goal from Fernando Torres and he's not going to miss that he could have, he got close, but it's oh, and again, and now I, I, I had to go from nothing but defence to an all out attack if I wanted to win this, Caballé on the ball Going to Teote, Teote Cheek, Ben Offer, Ben Offer to J Bucks, and a shot from J Bucks hits the bar, and I can't believe it. And in another, in another attempt for the head goal, and it's nothing. Goes to Honda, he's got space, it's safe, it hits the bar again, three times now, two attacks, it hits the bar three times. Have a look at this, how close does that go in? And how about the attempt before to hit the line and then bounce out? The corner comes to nothing, 
as Czech collects, and then in the end, I felt like I really should have won that game. Fucking Chelsea, oh well. But it's a 3-3 draw. Very unlucky. So much happening that I wasn't able to commentate on it all happening at the same time, but anyway, you know what I mean. But obviously, as you can see, I decided to sim the rest of the games in the calendar, except for the Liverpool game, and yes, that includes the Man U game. I don't know why, it didn't feel like playing it. But for some reason, the video file on the Liverpool game screwed up, and I, all I can show you was screenshots. Uh, yes, I lost 2-0, but obviously, as you can see, I played a lot of games, all my stamina was in the red, so really no excuses, I guess that is, but that's pretty much the reason. Anyway, but who cares, because we're in January transfer window, that's what I'm talking about. We go back to live commentary soon, and guys, that's it for me. I'm your game of the Mask Bucks. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Get ready for episode 8, we go back to live commentaries, and I will catch you next time.